Now, the Council on American-Islamic Relations, or CARE, is on the same list as ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and the Muslim Brotherhood. Brooke Goldstein is a human rights attorney and director of the Lawfare Project. So our old friend CARE mm -hmm. and Ibrahim Hooper have been designated, he's their spokesperson, uh, but the group CARE has been designated as a terrorist organization by the UAE. How does that happen? Right, well, first of all, it's about time. And it happens because the UAE finally has the courage and the conviction to designate a very well-known terror front organization, the Council on American Islamic Relations. And the evidence is out there. I mean, all you have to do is go and look to see the amount of board members and, and civil rights coordinators that are on the Council on American Islamic Relations staff that have been convicted for funding and for providing material support for designated terrorist groups like Hamas, for example. The evidence is out there. And what's controversial is why the United States allows CARE and allows the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the, the mother of CARE, to operate freely within our borders. Well, the State Department apparently says it's looking into it. It's going to seek more information about why it happened. Um, but to your point, Ibrahim Hooper, who came on the program a few times, came out and said, we have condemned these terror organizations. We've condemned Hamas here. Listen, here he is in April. We have condemned Hamas. We've condemned every uh, Hezbollah. We've condemned FARC. We've condemned every li organization that's on the list of terrorists designated by the uh, U.S. government. That's an outright lie. The Council on American Islamic Relations has refused over and over again to condemn Hamas and to condemn Hezbollah. In fact, Nihad Awad, who is the co-founder of CARE, has come out and said, quote, I am a supporter of Hamas. What CARE has condemned, in fact, is the conviction of the 1994 World Trade Center bomber. They've condemned the conviction of the blind sheik in 1995, who was arrested and sent to jail for planning to blow up New York City trademarks. And they've also condemned calling Osama bin Laden an enemy of the United States. CARE is a foreign-funded, subversive organization. It is a political front for the Muslim Brotherhood. It is a funding front for Hamas. But they say no. They say they're basically just a Muslim civil rights organization. And whenever you do a segment about, about CARE, you know how to reach me, Abraham. <laughs> uh, they write you some nasty notes suggesting that they're going to sue you. But, but here, and here's the statement that they said in response to this. To this. Let's put it on the board so the viewers can see. Uh, stand by. Here it is. We are seeking clarification from the government of the United Arab Emirates about this shocking and bizarre report. He goes on to say there is absolutely no factual basis for the inclusion of CARE and other American and European civil rights and advocacy groups on this list. You tell me, do these people sound like civil rights advocates? Former CARE director Abdurrahmani Alamudi currently serving a 23-year prison sentence for material support for Hamas and Hezbollah. Randall Todd Royer, the civil rights coordinator, the former civil rights coordinator for CARE, traveled to Al-Qaeda, trained with the Al-Qaeda organization in Kashmir and was indicted on charges of conspiring but wait, but with how do they, but If that's the case and they have all these ties to these you know, groups like Hamas and Hezbollah, which our State Department recognizes as terrorists, mm -hmm. then why does the administration include CARE in certain things? CARE has a big microphone in the, in the country among some constituencies. And they even come out and say things like, we condemn ISIS. They, they joined in this um, sort of big uh, initiative where they denounced ISIS and said ISIS has misinterpreted Islam into a religion of harshness and brutality and, and said this is a great wrong and offense to Islam and so on. In other words, on paper and in some circles, they look legit. Right, but if you dig a little bit deeper, you can easily see under the surface that they are a terror front organization. People in the Islamist world know this. Everybody in the counterterrorism community knows that CARE is a front for Hamas. And the reason why they haven't been designated is because they have an incredible amount of influence with the Obama administration that has taken hundreds of meetings with them while shunning real moderate Muslims like Zudi Jasta, for example. This is a State Department that itself uh, staffs Muslim Brotherhood sympathizers, for example. This is a State Department that has, re uh, has redacted counterterrorism training manuals because they're Islamophobic, has redacted the word Islam and Jihad from counterterrorism training manuals, right. has fired FBI officials for being Islamophobic. This State Department does not have the courage to designate a terror front organization in the United States, and it's a shame. Well, we'll, we'll continue to watch as the State Department 
investigates further. Brooke, good to see you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Of course, we invited Kara to come on, but they didn't want to come on. So <laughs> we'll continue to await the...